So I'm not going to talk you through how to play this riff because it's pretty hard to play, but you can click the link below this video and download a free PDF of the score. Um, what I will do is just talk you through the chords and scales used in this sample a little bit. Um, so first of all, this is a sample from a song called As Long As I've Got You by The Shao Miles, which is a fantastic song. I really recommend listening to the original. And in this bit of the song that gets sampled in the Wu-Tang Clan track, um, there are three chords. So we're starting off with these two. And then later on we have this one. So I'll start with this one. This is a B flat minor seven chord. So this would be straight B flat minor, taking the root in the right hand down a tone makes it a seventh. So a seventh is a tone less than an octave. So that makes it B flat minor seven. And then this chord, well, using similar logic, this would just be straight C minor, taking the root in the right hand down a tone, turns it into a seventh. Again, a seventh is a tone less than an octave. So that's C minor seven. So those first two chords are B flat minor seven and then C minor seven. And then last one is F minor seven. Again, this would be straight F minor. Take the root in the right hand down a tone, becomes a seventh. So that is F minor seven. So we actually have three minor seven chords, B flat minor seven, C minor seven, and F minor seven. And if you want to analyze them further, there are actually chords four, five, and one in F minor. So four, five, one, all minor seven chords in F minor. Now let's look at the scales a little bit. So to begin with, we're basically sticking around um, B flat minor and B flat minor usually is so B flat minor usually has a G flat in it but in this section of the tune we actually get a G natural so the opening part of this sample actually is in B flat minor Dorian because it has a sharp sixth in the scale this might be beyond uh, maybe lots of people watching but again, if you enter harmonic analysis, I thought I'd pull apart this sample. So B flat minor usually has a G flat in it as the sixth note of the scale. But in this case, we are sharpening the sixth note of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six is going to be uh, G natural instead of G flat, which makes it a sharp sixth. So the opening is in B flat minor Dorian. And then we go to F minor, we have this key change, and we have that chord. And F minor usually has a D flat in it, but when we play the riff in the right hand, we actually play a D natural. So that is another Dorian minor scale. Instead of it being like this, we have one, two, three, four, five, the sixth note of the scale sharpened. Instead of it being D flat, we have D natural. So that makes it F minor Dorian scale. So we go from B flat Dorian to F Dorian. And just to recap, if you're not sure what the Dorian minor is, you can think of the Dorian minor as being the white notes from D to D. You can think of D for Dorian. So D minor by default has B flat in it, but the Dorian minor has a B natural. So that is sharpening the sixth note of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six is sharpened. And that's what a Dorian minor is. So there you go, three minor seven chords and two Dorian minor scales in this sample from the Charmels.